<laughs> so tell us maybe a little bit about your fans, like what that connection is like. Do you ever get recognized when you go out in public? Have you ever um, like met up with a fan in real life? Like, you know, I, I know probably at conventions you have, but just tell us a little bit about your fan base and your relationship with them. Sure. Um, first off, yes and yes. Um, so let's see. As far as the connection with the fans, I have guys that I – started i started camming about seven years ago um and i have guys from that first show that are still my friends now that come to my shows now i have guys who watch my shows with their wives and their girlfriends or with their boyfriends i have a lot of gay fans um and then i also have had fans who contact me about things like helping them with their finances because i can be a little dominant so if i tell them not to spend money they won't um, or helping them lose weight. I get a lot of requests for that, like weight loss encouragement videos and things like that. I actually just filmed a cameo this morning that was, um, it was one of my friends on, it was his one month sobriety day. And so he was like, hey, can you just send me an encouragement video for my one month sobriety for when I stumble in the future and, you know, feel free to make it funny. I know how you are like kind of a kind of a thing. So I, I find immense personal fulfillment in being able to kind of be a friend and a confidant for a holy fuck shitload of people. Um, it, it makes me really happy. Um, so that connection is really special to me. I, I had, um, my friend Greg, who has been watching me since the beginning, used to talk to me about his daughter because she's my age and she was having a lot of mental health struggles. And he was like, when I when I see you succeeding, it makes me think that, you know, there's there's hope and that she's going to pull through. And like we would like get on video and she'd play the guitar and we'd all just talk. There's guys that um, watch my cam shows, but anytime I start to do anything sexual, they're like, I'll be back. Uh, I don't want to be here for that. Uh, and then I'll be doing a, it happens all the time where somebody will tip for a show and I'll be like, all right, we're getting out of chat time. We're going to a show and like a hundred people will fucking leave. And they'll be like, we'll be back in an hour. You usually take about an hour and they'll come back early and they'll be like, oh my God. And then they'll leave and come back later. <laughs> so that's so interesting. I, they're great. They're really great. I talk to people about my fan base and I feel like a lot of people are surprised. And I think it is just because I am consistently myself and I don't judge people. I don't judge people's kinks. I green light a lot of people. I've had men cry while talking to me about their kinks because they've been yelled at before. Like I had a guy that really liked rib bones. Like he likes how they look and I was doing a stretch. And so he contacted me after and he was like, Hey, like, I just need to talk to you about this. And I just, please don't yell at me. Like if, if you want me to stop at any point, just talk, stop me, but don't yell at me, please. And he'd been yelled at by girls before and told that he was like problematic and that he was, um, encouraging anorexia and stuff like that because he thought that women's rib bones looked pretty. And so like he cried and we talked and, and connected and I ended up doing a bunch of rib bone content for him. And he's, he's a lot more confident now about that's a thing I like. It's, you know, it's not a bad thing to like that. Um, so that's, that's my favorite thing about any of this. And I feel like that's a really strong connection. Um, and I forgot the yeah. other question. <laughs> That's okay. um, yeah, no, I, I definitely, I've heard from a lot of workers, you know, talk to me about relationships that they have with their fans and, um, you know, men who come to them who have kinks and, and they're afraid to talk about their kinks um, with their girlfriend or their wife or whatever, yeah. whoever their significant other is. And they feel like they can confide in sex workers about that kind of thing because, there's like a real intimacy to that relationship. And I think also too, because we work in the industry, people feel a little bit less judged because it's like, we're like the black sheep of the entertainment industry. So like, who are we to like, to, right. you know, say to make any judgment calls considering all the stigma that we face on a regular basis. Yeah, I've heard so many stories, um, you know, especially since starting my podcast about like the therapeutic benefits of having relationships with workers. 
Yeah. And I feel like it's, it's beneficial for me too. It, it, it lets me kind of get out that I have a very strong mothering instinct. And so, and I, I can't have children. And so I kind of, I've, I've adopted the internet men as my, <laughs> I, I'm just like, Oh, let me take care of you. Like, come here. Everything's fine. <laughs> the girl was mean to you. You don't deserve that. <laughs> like, so, and I tell them when they're wrong. Cause it's not all, it's not all candy and roses. So if somebody comes in and says something or does something, I'm like, Hey, that's not how we act here. Like, so, so there's that too. Um, it's just, yeah, it's, there's nothing like it. So Alex, uh, you recently recorded your first audiobook. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, that was really crazy, but really fun. Um, so I got contacted by the publishing company history of books And they asked me if I wanted to be the narrator for Gina Gerson's autobiography. Um, And I, my first question was, well, the first thing I said was yes. And then I said, why, (laughs) how did I, how did I come across? And um, I guess Gina and the publisher had talked to a few different directors and I had been recommended. And after I'd been recommended, she went and looked at my YouTube channel and she liked my voice. And she liked my personality. And we actually have a lot in common. We're about the same age. And um, we both had rough childhoods. So it was kind of, you know, it was really interesting reading her book um, and seeing like the parallels in our lives. And um, so it was a very, it was a very honored kind of experience where I was like, wow, I'm the one that gets to, to speak this into into existence so that was that was crazy hey guys if you want to support my show then you should think about joining my patreon at my patreon i offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support from live streams of my interviews as they are happening to bonus q a's behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots plus cool merch like stickers mugs and hoodies we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered. And while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.